Hello Internet, Retro Kevin here. In today's video, we're going to be taking apart and cleaning a Super Nintendo game cartridge. So let's head over to the workbench and see what we have for today. Here's the game we'll be cleaning. Now it's not in bad shape, but it does have this on the back. And it looks like someone tried to clean it up with a scrub pad. Well, let's open it up and get to the good stuff. For that, we will need the 3.8mm security screwdriver. Yeah, we'll toss those in a bin so we don't lose them. Next, lift the case to open like this so we don't break those tabs. And let's take a look at those contacts. Not too bad, but we will polish them up to make them look like new. That's the capacitor we can test if need be. I'm sure it's alright. We'll set that off to the side for now and take a closer look at the inside of that cart. Now, this is a pretty common spot to collect some grime. Ooh, that side looks pretty good. Let's start with some denatured alcohol for that permanent marker. After some wiping, I'm noticing a white film starting to form. Whomever cleaned this before me probably used a magic eraser of sorts. I'll try to clean that up with a non-bleach Clorox wipe. And we'll get the rest of that cart too while we're at it. Let's be careful around those labels. We do not want to damage them, if at all possible. Next, we'll use a cotton swab to get those hard to reach areas. While that's drying, let's polish those contacts with a high polymer eraser. We'll just rest the board on the edge of a table, or a ledge of sorts, and polish them until those contacts are nice and shiny. Beautiful. Let's get the other side now. Perfect. I'll just use some isopropyl alcohol for a final wipe to remove anything that eraser might have left behind. Clean up that mess a little bit. And I'm going to try another trick to remove that marker. By adding more marker. I'm going to test it on just a small part. By doing this, I've sometimes been able to further remove old marker. Again, using denatured alcohol and a cotton swab for removal. There's that white film again. I'm going to try some isopropyl and see if we get the same film forming. Yeah, still getting it. Must be some leftover bleach from that magic eraser. I'll just clean it one more time with a Clorox wipe and move on with the cleaning. For the final part of this cartridge cleaning, I'm going to use some automotive cleaning and protectant wipes. This will add a protectant layer and bring back a little bit of that shine. Again, we want to be careful around those labels. After that, we'll put the cartridge back together and we're done. So I still have to find a surefire way to take care of permanent marker without bleaching or ruining the plastic. 
Otherwise, following these steps is a great way to clean most dirty cartridges. I hope you liked this video. If you really enjoyed it, please like, comment, and subscribe as it will help out me and the channel quite a lot. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.